Hello everyone, Matthew here with a bit of a channel announcement. Uh, I'm not actually going to be playing through all of Tintin and Tibet because, oh boy, <laughs> this was a game that was released only in France that we are going to be, whoops, nope, that we are going to be putting on easy. Uh, this was not, I don't believe this was made by the same team. It feels a lot jankier than uh, Tintin, in the, Tintin in the Temple of the Sun, but yeah, I was just gonna play this because I have a little bit of an announcement to make. Also, I wanted to show off how hard this game is. Alright. In China, a train follows the Yangtze. Tintin is making for Haokao, which I think is an archaic way of referring to Hong Kong. Suddenly, the train comes to a stop. Anyway. Yeah, this is the start of the game. Notice how easy mode gives me seven lives. We're gonna need them. But yes. I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update. I am currently going into my penultimate. My penultimate. Uh, I have to remember the controls aren't exactly the same. Anyway. I'm going into my penultimate, uh quarter of grad school, and both of the classes that I have this quarter are going to be kind of brutal, honestly. Um, one of them is just kind of infamous within the program. So I've looked at my upload schedule of two videos a week, and yeah, I don't think I can, don't think I can do that. First death, okay. So, my current plan is that I am going to move everything over to just uploading on Mondays. Or not uploading on Mondays, but videos will go live on Mondays. And this also means that I'm not going to have a steady streaming schedule. <laughs> like I ever had a steady streaming schedule. Uh, if I do stream, it's going to be a... Like, ooh, I feel like I've got the time. Also, I would just like to point out, you know how in the first game it starts off kind of gentle? Haha, <laughs> no. Uh, you want to land on those little planks and not fall into the water. Second death. Okay. This is also just kind of a showcase of why I'm probably never going to actually do a Let's Play of this game. The controls are... Controls. Uh, they. I kind of just want to get to the level after this because it is just a sign of what's like not great about this game. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Remember the first the first level of the last game did not require us to do any sort of precision in our platforming. I have died three times already. We needed those seven lives. Ugh. But yeah, it's a shame because I actually really do like the storyline behind Tintin and Tibet, which basically boils down to, well, well, you'll see some of it. I'll explain more of it in a bit. Ugh. Ugh when we get to it, because we're getting a little bit of the backstory right now. Oof. Uh, Yeah, this is where it gets like, <laughs> do you like precision platforming? I hope you do. Alright. But yes, anyway. Dang it! <laughs> I might not even get to the second level at this rate. We shall see. Uh, from what I can tell, I think this was originally released on the Game Gear, and then the Game Boy Color port is not the best, which is why we're playing that port. <laughs> I, okay, back to the actual topic of the video, which was just the announcement. So, the next episode of Soloid is going to go up on Monday. Uh... It was gonna go up on. It was gonna go up today, but I ended up going. Uh, I don't really. 
I don't really want to do that, because then it's, it's easier if I do the whole, like, if I swap out over at the beginning of the Let's Play instead of, like, in the middle of it. I'm going to save state. Because this game does not deserve uh, to be played legitimately. I didn't even need it. Uh, anyway. There we go. Oh no, someone fell into the water. Alright. So, this. This is... Strange. This reminds me of that, like, boating down the river minigame. Except not as good. One of the weird things about, the, about this game versus the last one is the B button doesn't really do anything? I think they, they made it just drop. Just for dropping items. Whereas in the original... No, no, no. Dang it. Alright. Another thing is I'll also say the art is worse than this one. There, feeling better. What's your name? My name's Tintin. Ah, I'm Shang. And that, Captain, is how I met my good friend Shang, when I was in China breaking up an international opium ring. The first arc of Tintin is... is big. It's a thing. It was also before he really... before Herja really did uh, any sort of cultural whatever any sort of, like, actual research on other cultures before he wrote stuff. Uh, this one's actually way after he started doing research. Uh, mostly because... Okay, I'm just gonna point out that Tintin in Tibet actually got a prize from the Dalai Lama for being really good. <laughs> the DC-3 bound for Kathmandu crashed in Nepal. Rescue parties have little hope of finding any survivors. Uh, beca mostly because it actually just was apparently just a really good representation of Nepal. Yes, that little dog breaking Tintin's shins. Good morning, Tintin. I have a letter for you. I gave it to Captain Haddock. I saw him on the third floor. And this is where this level turns into bullshit. So, you need to go up to the third floor, talk to someone, I think that person is- I'm going to save state. T to avoid having to go back and talk to people. Uh, no, they're on the other side. Yeah, this is just a lot of running around for no good reason. Have you seen Captain Haddock? I saw him on the first floor. Yeah. As far as I can tell, this is actually random. Sometimes the, uh, the person at the register is like, yo, he is on the, he's up in the restaurant. Have you seen Captain Haddock? I saw him in the restaurant. Yeah, the, the route is not the same every single time. Also, notice how I can crouch to get past these guys? Guess what the game never explains? When I first was playing this, I tried jumping over them, and then I was I actually looked up a guide because I was like, there's no way. There is no way the intended solution is just take damage whenever you want to get past these guys. And lo and behold, you just need to, you know, lean over and show them that they're the boss. Have you seen Captain Haddock? I saw him in the fourth floor, room one. And that's how you know you're done with the sequence. But man, okay. Uh, I, I don't have any fond memories of, of this one. This, this was not a game that I had as a kid. So, yeah, okay. Um, uh, Tintin, I have a letter for you from Hong Kong. Thank you, Captain. It's Chang. What a coincidence. Yes, of course. And what does this Chong want? Ahem. It's Chang, Captain. God. He lets me know he arrives after a stopover in Kathmandu. But the plane that crashed in Nepal, that's Chang's plane! Chang's dead! What terrible news! 
I need to be alone for a while. I'm going to my room. Later. Ch Cheng's alive! I'm off to Nepal! Three days later, Tintin and Haddock arrive in Kathmandu. Basically, the most of the plot of Tintin in Tibet boils down to he has his friend, Chang, who he rescued Chang's life from falling in the river after a train accident. And, like, actually found him adopted parents and everything. So, like, Tintin is like his godfather, pretty much. And he's insisting that Chang is still alive because he can feel it. And everyone else is like, Tintin, Chang is dead. Spoiler alert, Tintin is right. Chang is not dead. He was he was rescued by the Yeti. Also, these chickens. They follow you because they want to do you harm. I hate them. They're the worst. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to go until I run out of lives. It should not take me that much longer. <laughs> Especially with the way I'm playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, Tintin lives in the lives in a world with some of the most unobservant workmen. Could you show me a shop owned by a Chinese man? My son will show you the way. No, he bloody well won't. Eh. The thing is, you you technically can jump over these guys if your timing is really good. But that's not how the game wants you to do it. Which is not which is not what I didn't realize earlier on, because in the original, you couldn't just duck. You had to jump over. Could you show me a shop owned by a Chinese man? Yes, come with me. And the kid just legs it. Uh, jump over chicken. Like, avoid bells. Grab that one up. Maybe I should not be grabbing one ups, because I'm going until I die. Anyway. I actually just really just want to show off one sequence after this one, because it's gloriously like, what the hell were they thinking? Okay, we have to go over to find Snowy. This is all the bits that I played earlier today, because I was actually thinking, hmm, if I don't- if I- if I keep with my current schedule, I'm gonna need something to fill out the end of October. And then I was like, oh, there was that other Tintin game, I wonder. And now I don't wonder. Help me find the potter's son, Snowy. Now Snowy follows us around. Because Snowy is a good boy. Alcoholic, but a good boy. Yeah, I, I love how these workmen are just like... Pfft. Hey, can't you see I'm walking here? With my, like, thing of wood. Alright. Alright. Oh, nope. Nope. Everything's going wrong. Okay. No, I'm gonna point out, I'm also doing playing this on easy mode. You saw me do this. The only thing that easy mode really changes, as far as I can tell, is it gives you more lives? Like, so many more lives. Also, what are we feeding you, Snowy? I, I thought, like, Tintin had some impressive ups, but no, Snowy is like... <laughs> jump, jump, like, my, the, my entire body length? Pshaw, that is child's play. Oh no, I caught, I grabbed another life. Uh... Yeah, like, like Snowy is just, I jump over the water, I jump over the water, I, <laughs> Snowy has something like a 20 foot horizontal leap, it's great. Is this the child, Snowy? Child, why did you run away? The Chinese man's shop is there. Okay. 
Are you looking for me? Yes, sir, I'm a friend of Chang's. A friend of Chang? He's dead. But I don't think he that he's dead. Do you know of a Sherpa who could help me find him? Why not Darky? He's the best. I'm convinced Chang is not dead. I need an experienced guide to help f me find him. <sighs> me been there, me see plain. Broken, no one alive. You too young to die as well. Uh, I'm convinced Chang is not dead. All right, uh, me, you, uh, leave in three days. Yes, that. I'm just gonna tell you right now that that's the dialogue in this uh, in this game, repeated over and over again. All right. Again, let's see. Nope. Go over here. He's like. Fresh grass attracts the yak. Thank you, sir. Ugh. Now is the bit where, where we're probably going to end up dying. Precision platforming, oh, we can't run! Nah. <laughs> of course, game. Of course. Uh, it probably won't be feature length, but still, oops, nope. Also, in the in the other game, you falling would just deal two damage. In this one, it kills you immediately. This is part of the reason why I'm thinking that this one was made by a different team, or that it got ended up getting localized by. Whoops. Nope. Oh, come on! Eh. <laughs> uh, eh, <yeah>, I say. <laughs> okay. We are on schedule to die where I thought we would. Like, okay, I, I don't know how I, how I can describe how differently this game feels, but, uh, so, in the original one, you could pick up and drop things with... <laughs> okay. Uh, you could pick up and drop things with the B button. In this one, you have to crouch to pick things up. The B button is not an option. In fact, pressing the B button while you don't have something in your hand does nothing. Okay, let's see if I can actually get further this time around. Yes? Yes? Okay, we are past the yak. I repeat, we are past the yak. <laughs> okay! Uh. Okay, huh. I'm actually legitimately curious to see if I could finish up this level. I don't think I can. Nope. Anyway, here is the much inferior game over screen. I think I've given this game all the time it actually deserves. But anyway, yes, so the plan is that I will put up the next the next episode of Soul Void will be going live on Monday, and then for the foreseeable future, videos will be on Monday instead of Monday and Thursdays. I apologize for anyone who was like, oh man, having two videos a week is just my jam, but it turns out that doing stuff at a rate of like 104 videos a year is a bit excessive. I'm not sure how people like uh, Kikoskia can manage to upload something literally every day. Actually, multiple somethings every single day. Uh, like, I, it's more understandable with some people who are chopping up streams that they've done or whatever, but, like, Kikoski's a machine. I, I, I just, I just want to say that. Oh boy. Anyway. I'm mapping. 
And I hope you've enjoyed this announcement video. I will see you all next week on Monday. Take care and goodbye.